Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description. We can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for a squiggly line sign today. What's going on for Aquarius? All right. You guys are overcoming everything that was in your path and you're changing, you're shifting, you're shifting your whole life, Aquarius, going in a whole other different direction. <laughs> um, I feel like some of you guys be going to some place where there's boats, there's water here, and you got, you got love appearing in your reading, okay? Feels like you're tapping deep into your emotions. Maybe this love's getting you all in your emotions and your feelings here. We also have you guys connecting more with your psychic side. You have Athena seeing if you're staying on your true path or not, which you guys are. And you're sitting here manifesting, manifesting more of your heart's desires, Aquarius. And some of you guys may need to go outside at night and speak out your wishes at night because there's a night star goddess wanting to help you manifest more of your heart's desires. And look, we need to get deeper into the spiritual message. You guys are going to be having some psychic dream messages about what's next for you, what you're manifesting next, Aquarius. But let's get deeper into our spiritual message because we were told to. But yeah, you got some love happening here. Number three with action, movement, perseverance, discipline, motivation. Okay, let's see. We got number 36 with the third eye chakra. So it feels like you guys are tapping on into your third eye, um, awakening... You know, once again, awakening more of your second side, awakening your intuition as well, Aquarius. Number 19 with gut instincts, intuition, knowing, sensing, trust. You're going to be listening to your gut instincts. You are going to be listening to your intuition, uh, what you should take action towards and what you should not take action towards here, Aquarius. Number six with grounding, nature, presence, practicality, stability. Some of you guys be grounding yourself. Here's another six here. So some of you guys be... Um, listening to your intuition in terms of your finances as well, what's going to bring you prosperity and what's not. Um, but we have a third eye chakra, which has messages and affirmations with it, so we're going to read it. The third eye. It says, spiritual awareness, seeing, insight, visualization, intuition, psychic powers, visions, clairvoyance, imagination. It says... From a spiraling center of white light and indigo rises Ajna, the symbol of our third eye. Two white lotus petals represent the manifest and unmanifest mind, like our two eyes and two brain hemispheres. When used together, they become one, intensifying their power to form a laser-sharp instrument. Ajna, the one all-seeing eye, shines the way of non-duality, with a single focus of this device. The balanced vision of our third eye provides a harmonious and holistic view of our world. Integrating logic and imagination, it awakens our perception of that which shimmers beneath the superficial reality seen by two physical eyes. Ajna grants the access to the realms of the divine. Okay, it says our third eye is located between our eyebrows and is the energy center of our intuition, imagination, visualization, and higher vision. Many believe that this chakra is the seat of the soul. While our throat chakra operates in the frequency of sound, our third eye's vibration is that of inner sound and of light divine sound, and divine light. As we open to the perceptive powers of our third eye, we open to seeing and experiencing our world in a more holistic and expansive way. We are not bound by the physical limitation of what our current circumstances look like on surface. With Ajna, we see all possibilities. We see the oak tree within the acorn, and we feel empowered to move from a place of a clear vision and truth within. Just as we must calm the waters of a pool in order to see beyond the surface, we must learn how to calm our mind in order to access the deeper levels of ourself and the world with clarity. This card is an invitation to spend time in meditation and relaxation. Take time to become still so that you are centered and receptive, allowing awareness of subtle energies and wisdom in your third eye. From this space, you are able to see into and beyond this moment, into the highest path for your soul. If you are uncertain which way to go or which path to follow, take time to open yourself to the gift of the inner vision of your third eye chakra. Pay attention to your dreams, acknowledge what you sense in meditation, no intuitive feelings, read, reflect, daydream, ponder on your being, take action based on the guidance and intuition that comes to you from your sixth sense. 
The essence of this card is to accept yourself as an intuitive spiritual being and to expand your sense of seeing. Within the grace of your divine view, there are no questions or doubt, only calm clarity and infinite possibility. It is now time to embrace your divine life journey, allowing your inner light to guide your way. And here's affirmations. I open myself to my intuition and inner wisdom. I expand myself or I expand my view of the possible. I trust and follow my inner guidance. Okay. So that's the messages for you, Aquarius. Now let's go over here and let's see more for you. You have 38 with the Black Panther. So the Black Panther is reclaiming your power. So you guys are reclaiming your power. You're reclaiming your spiritual power is what it feels like here. Number seven with Lakshmi, which is the goddess of fortune and wealth here. And that's what's coming your way. Uh, number 12 is Shochi Ketso. You know what this goddess is? It's about sexual pleasure. Some of you guys could be diving into sexual pleasure here as well. Uh, 26 with the Blue Lotus. Blue Lotus talks about being open to the divine, being open to the teachings of the divine. So you're open to the divine. It's teachings, it's blessings, Aquarius reclaiming your power as well is what it feels like for you. Now let's go over here and let's see more for you. Twenty-five with the sacred river. And there's another card that fell off. Number thirty-eight with the Tao. So another eight here, another three and eight to being being divinely guided here towards abundance, Aquarius. Uh the river talks about flowing and changing. And I don't remember what the other card is, but we'll have a look at both. See both fell out. So they're both messages for you. So with the sacred river, it says the sacred river eternally flows and changes. Just like the river flows and changes, of course, you two are evolving in your divine paths. So you're, you're evolving, Aquarius. You're changing. Veils and sheaths that once covered your soul light are being washed away. Okay. Cleansing by sacred water specifically indicates that your emotional life and your life direction are being purified and healed. Changes in the flow of energy within you and in the momentum of your life path and folding are imminent. This is exciting. You're growing and changing, and soon your life circumstances will reflect your inner evolution. The sacred river in which beloved Kuan Yin delights is always subtly changing course, flowing and growing. You, like the sacred river, are changing too, beloved. Your life direction is going through subtle realignments or even in the midst of a far more obvious change. You're encouraged to trust in the natural unfoldment of this process and to allow it to work its way through you and your life. And it says the sacred river is an extension of the intelligent guidance of the divine mother her hand reaching through your soul and guiding you towards your highest destiny she helps the higher self release any impurities which it no longer needs to contain in doing so there can be a period of spiritual release and even physical detoxification detox may occur through emotions that surface inexplicable pains or aches in the body a feeling of tiredness for no particular reason and a need to rest or the urge to meditate more, do healing, go for swims in the ocean, or attend a yoga class, or even change the way you're eating and sleeping. It says, these are natural intuitive impulses that confirm your soul is going through a cleansing process as it brings more of its purity into expression on the physical plane. It says, Kuan Yin speaks as the soul of the sacred river now and guides you to be kind to yourself during these changes and to honor your inner guidance as your own inner light grows stronger now. Trust the flowing changes of the sacred river through your life. You may observe that people are even more attracted to your light during such time. And in the period following this shift in your light quotient, you're holding more light in your being. And without the old veils covering your inner light, your soul is able to shine through matter stronger than ever before. Some people will be attracted to these changes in you. and Your relationships will grow and improve. There might be some that are fearful of the changes. Keep firm boundaries that are loving and don't worry about extra attention that you will receive. Your light is not just growing brighter, it is growing stronger too and you will be ready to handle any situation that comes to you with joy, grace, and effectiveness. Be kind and patient. Stay true to yourself and trust that spiritual growth serves all. Here's healing. It says, imagine that you're standing near a beautiful river composed of light and sound. It shimmers with love, peace, and beauty. You just want to be close to it, as close to it as you can be, because it feels good to be near it. Imagine stepping into the river and allowing rainbows of light and sound to wash through you, cleansing you inside and out. The water is clean and pure. 
filled with ancient power and majesty, as you step out of the river, you notice that you are now clothed in the fresh robe of silk, whatever color feels right for you. Then when you are ready, open your eyes. Here's a prayer. It says, Kuan Yin, divine ancient river mother, sacred soul of the river. I receive spiritual waters of your cleansing and illumination now. Bless my path and my process with your mercy and potency. May I reveal and realize myself in a new way now, without fear or attachment to the past. May I allow the sacred river to chart my course, carving out my highest divine destiny and path now of my own free will, so be it. So the Tao, it says, the Tao is always flowing, always nourishing life into creation, always presenting steps and solutions, and always reminding us that we are perfection in this moment. You're being guided to relax and allow life to flow. So you're, you're being guided to, re to relax. There's some changes happening. Let the changes happen. Be in the flow, Aquarius. Don't resist the flow. It's what you're being told. Okay? Beloved, you're being invited into a more advanced spiritual classroom of the soul. Sometimes we think we're more advanced that more advanced means more effort and yet in spiritual matters as we mature we become more able to stop attempting to control and direct from our more limited perspective and instead become open to receiving and being directed by higher forces which include our own divine essence and one with the source of all this does not mean that we become a loose leaf blown about by the winds of fate it means that rather we become like a bamboo strong within ourselves and able to move in this direction or without losing our power in fact, our flexibility become part of what makes us a powerful instrument of divine creativity and healing. There are times when the, th the Tao, the mystery of the source endlessly unfolding, calls us strongly to be flexible and to stop fighting against the flow, and instead let it move us. It's the difference between trying to swim all the way to the shore, not even knowing if we are heading in the right direction, but just thinking we could be. On the one hand, in allowing the cosmic wave to lift us, carry us, and deposit us on the shoreline, in the right shoreline for us, quickly and with grace. But why should it be so easy, you might wonder? The challenge is not to try and force life to unfold according to our whims, but to grow in trust, wisdom, self-love, and self-worth so that we might be capable of, of surrender. The way is effortless, yet the journey is being able to surrender into the way is not so effortless. We can make our molehills into mountains unintentionally, so you're being asked to let go now to relax and allow life to do what it does, which is flow. Life, the Tao, is more powerful than any apparent obstacle. Tao flows through all situations and presents natural solutions. No matter how unsolvable those situations may appear to be, it just needs to be allowed to do so. Here's healing. It says, Lie quietly in a slightly darkened room or place a soft cloth over your closed eyes. Imagine that you are lying in a dark, endless space that is safe, expansive, and loving. Imagine it expanding in front of you, behind you, to the right and to the left, above and below, until it is just you in this center of endless space. Feel your edges blurring out until it is hard to tell where you start and stop, and the space begins. Allow yourself to be held and supported in this space, almost like you are resting on a deep ocean. Become aware of gentle pulses and waves, sometimes quite large, sometimes very small and delicate, that reveal this space has intelligence and aliveness. Imagine any outcome that you wish to create, starting off as a thought or a vision in your mind, and then dissolving into light, journeying down to your heart and beaming into this vast void. The process of creation has been initiated by the moment you let go of it. You don't even have to know how or what to do next. Feel the joy of release and wonder of how easy it is when we let go of fear of control. Feel the excitement or anticipation that the universe is playing with you now to create the best manifestation. Relax, and then follow your breath and perhaps finish your practice with the prayer below. Okay, it says, guide me, restore me. I trust you completely. Your wisdom, love, and joy lights my path, and the way becomes easy for me. All right, Aquarius, so those are the messages for you. So we're going to go over here now, because that's what the spirit world wanted you to know. So let's see more for Aquarius. Blockage removed. See, we did that. Now there's a blockage removed here. Now life flows. Now you call in what you want, Aquarius, your desires. Now you're calling in success, victory here. 
okay, is what it feels like for you. And it feels like you're going after what you really want in your life, Aquarius, because you're calling it in. And what you want is just up ahead for you, Aquarius. And some of you guys, some of you guys may be calling it love. L-O-V-E. All right. The moon. We have you guys connecting with the moon here. Uh, we have you guys connecting with your moon sign as well. But you're calling in some love. So let's see more for Aquarius. Queen of Wands. Some of you guys may have fire in your birth chart. Maybe a fire sign coming your way. Fire is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some of you guys may be setting up some strong boundaries with some people, but you're right at the door. We have success. You're about to go through that door. Aquarius, you're about to be like the emperor here. You're about to be like the boss, making big boss moves. Some of you guys be starting a new business here. Your business could be growing. You'd be getting promoted. But overall, it feels like there's some things you're walking away from that don't uh, belong in your life anymore. And you're sitting on the wheel of abundance, Aquarius. All right? <laughs> Oh, okay. You got success and victory here once again. Moving your see, you went through the door, Aquarius. You found the door, and we have you connected with the crows. But we got business. So we're gonna go over here, and let's see more for Aquarius. Broadcast on the air, develop your unique voice, then get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or radio show. So it feels like maybe you're going to be broadcasting your business on the radio or something, a podcast or something, news. Take time away from the daily hustle. Give yourself some quiet time in nature to muse. Create a space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. So this is, okay, some of you guys may need to take some time away, go out in nature here. And then when you do that, there's going to be all these ideas that will flow to you, Aquarius. Elevate. New mindset, new results. Elevate your mindset if you want to get different results. If you keep thinking and acting the same way, nothing will change in your business. So this is doing things in a new way, Aquarius. Like doing doing things with your business in a new way. That's gonna It's going to give you the results that you're wanting. Okay? So maybe when you go out in nature, you're going to think of a new way of doing things. And then you're going to, you know, act on that. And then you're going to get the results you want. Right. Copywriting. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft the words that speak to your, the heart of your ideal clients, okay? So some of you guys may be a writer here, or, or maybe you're just figuring out what words to use to attract in some clients, Aquarius. Let's go over here and let's see more for you. Once again, you got love coming in. Aquarius. Some of you guys can have a Cancer Zodiac sign coming your way, or a fire sign here too, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius here, heavy fire, um, the moon. You don't see this yet, but it's coming in. You may have somebody here trying to come back around to you actually, Aquarius. I feel like this person feels like a, they're a burden to you. They miss you. It's overwhelming to them that they miss you here, Aquarius. But I feel like you already have truth and clarity about how this person is. So I feel like you may be kind of holding back from this person here because you already know them to be sneaky and manipulative and they lie a lot. So I feel like you're just not really, in, you're, you're going to have success and victory by holding back from that person, Aquarius. So I feel like there's a lot more going on to the situation that you don't know about. But I feel like your manifestation is about to speed up. They're about to increase here. You're about to have surprise blessings coming in here. We have a lovers. We have, we have, okay, there is love coming your way once again. There's somebody, there's an angel leading and guiding you and somebody here together. But I feel like you guys are focusing here on your work as well. The Empress, you're attracting in your abundance. We also have you connect with your Venus sign. But there could be somebody here wanting to come in with a committed relationship. Also, some of you guys be buying a home here, Aquarius. But I feel like there's somebody here coming in wanting to work with you. There could be clients coming in. Once again, maybe you're, you're funneling in your clients. You, some of you guys be getting promoted here if you're at a job, you know, things like that. Aquarius is what I feel like for you. There may be somebody here getting jealous that you're getting attention as well. Or or there's somebody, there's somebody here that's wanting your attention. They're getting jealous that other people are showing you attention. It's almost what I feel like, but I feel like you may be ignoring them here. Or maybe you're just ignoring people in general. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Some of you guys can have fire in your birth chart. Once again, fire is Aries or Sagittarius here. Or there could be a fire sign hanging onto you. But overall, you guys got new money opportunities coming in for you. 
and um, some of you got some, there could be somebody here getting married in the future. Some of you guys be getting married in the future to somebody here if you're open to it. All right, but I see overall you're attracting in what what makes you happy, Aquarius, which could be a lot of things. But overall, you're getting in this flow. All right, and you're just letting the abundance flow to you. Remember, so just let it flow. All right, so, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, you can also even find more content on my website, too. All right, so goodbye, guys.